The doctor said he only had a small chance to live, and if he did, it would take weeks before he could head back home. But the family of Easton Oliverson says his recovery has been nothing short of miraculous. The 12-year-old landed in Salt Lake City today to continue treatment for his severe head injury. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser spoke to his father today. She joins us live from Primary Children's Hospital tonight. Emily, how is Easton doing? Kelly Bob Easton is doing well and happy to be back home in his home state. His dad says this month has been a wild ride. First, Easton's Little League team makes it to the World Series, the first team from Utah to ever do so. Then Easton falls off the bunk bed and hits his head. It's the long awaited plane ride back home to Utah. And 12 year old Easton Oliver Sin is just another step closer to defying all odds. It was a scary road. There was a time period where we didn't think he was going to be around. But the Little League baseball player from Washington County proved doctors wrong. He fell asleep on me. Miracle after miracle, blessing after blessing, it, after MRIs and CAT scan, CT scans, things looked great. Easton settled into Primary Children's Hospital Tuesday afternoon where he'll continue to focus on recovery. It's discouraging, but at the end of the day, we're just staying positive with him and just reminding him that, hey, you're here with us. We love you. We're here to support you and we're going to get you back to where you were. His dad, Jace Oliverson, believes all the community's support and prayers have been the driving force to his son's survival. After being able to witness so many Amer miracles like hour after hour and all the blessings that there's no other way to describe it other than divine intervention and that our Heavenly Father and our Savior had total and complete control. Even Easton released a video Tuesday thanking everyone who's been cheering him on. Please keep praying for me as I continue to get better. I know the uh, prayers and uh, blessings have worked and that Heavenly Father is blessing me. When he's not focused on getting better, Easton spends his long hospital days watching movies and FaceTiming friends and family. His dad picked up some nachos before Easton's ambulance got here today because nothing says welcome home like being greeted with your favorite snack. Reporting live at Primary Children's Hospital, Emily Tenser, Fox 13 News, Utah.